So one of the best things to think about when you're putting on a harness is the attitude that you're approaching it with. Uh, if you are uh, frustrated with the process because it takes too long, turn that around and use it for your advantage. You're spending time with your bird, and that's the most important part of it. Yeah, I love my birds, and I'm not worried about this taking too much time because the longer the time that it takes, the more time I get to spend with my bird. Most importantly, I have to make sure that she doesn't get hurt, that I don't pull any of her feathers, that I don't twist her wing, that I don't yank the harness around her neck, and then I make it a positive experience for her as well, right? Because <clears throat> I know she doesn't like wearing a harness, but she deals with it. Mm. One, more. One, more. One more. There we go. Put this around here. And that's Scouty there, uh, expressing his frustration because he knows he's next. And he really doesn't like harnesses. Scouty, of course, is. They're both wild birds that I'm taking care of. But Scouty's the most wild of the two. And she's been with me seven years. So, Scotty's only been here for a couple of years. Right. And once I finish wrapping her, once I finish putting on the harness, I let her go. She either goes up on my shoulder. I don't have a towel on right now. I have to get that yet. But she'll either go up on my shoulder or fly somewhere else and, and wait. Um, so we'll see what happens. Hmm? Okay, I'm gonna go get Scotty, okay? Come up here. It's almost automatic for her to go on the shoulder because she knows that that's what I'm doing. So let me grab a towel here because she generally waits for a towel to be on my shoulder and then she knows to go up on the towel. Ready? She's very good. Very smart girl. She, um, she follows the same process every single time. So let me pause this and I'm going to get uh, Scouty and work on him as well. Well, that took me a few minutes to get a little scouty. He's very resistant. He does not like this. But that's okay. Give me more opportunity to give him some love. And that's the most important part. Anything that takes a long time. I used to have dogs a long time ago. It's the same sort of thing. Um, especially the big dog, because he was very aggressive to other dogs. I would put him in a harness. I had tried a few other things. Some of these these leashes that have uh, um, not leashes, they're collars that have these little uh, uh, I don't know what you call them, little spine, not spine, but the little metal parts that go in. They're supposed to keep the dog from straining at the at the um, at the leash, right? But that didn't really work because he was so aggressive and he still even got out of one of those because he had a lot of loose skin. He was a bloodhound. And uh, from that point on, I started using harnesses because he couldn't get out of the harness. And because, well, he was 135 pounds, which is fairly sizable for a dog, but I was bigger. And I could grab the harness like a suitcase and lift him off the ground, which uh, wouldn't let him go after any dogs or anything like that. He was very friendly with people. Love people. Didn't like dogs. So, um, but the um, because he got away a couple of times, and and uh, of course I didn't want that to happen. You know, where a dog gets hit by a car, it just gets lost. Especially out there in Denver, different little story as far as you know how far they can go, and they can get killed. So the harness was the way to resolve that. And that's the same thing for these birds. I don't want them getting away getting injured or getting killed. And um, that's why I'm willing to spend the extra time putting it on them. And that was the same thing with the dogs. It took extra time and it was frustrating at first, but then I realized it's all about, you know, connecting with your animal. 
because you're doing this because you love them. I did. Hmm. All right. And that's that, folks.